And taking a live look at downtown Bakersfield, it's still a little warm to take the dogs out for a walk, but maybe we're getting cooler. I would say maybe what, like 3 a.m., Brandon? <laughs> Around <laughs> then, finally yeah. Finally feel a little bit more bearable? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's going to take some time here. Temperatures are not in a hurry to cool off, both tonight and in the forecast in general. I'll show you what we're looking at for the current weather pattern. This is not going to change much over the next several days. High pressure over the southeast. That is a hot air mass there. Another developing high pressure just off the coast. That's another hot air mass. That one, of course, much closer to us. That is going to be in control of our weather for several days, and we are going to continue with this stretch of triple digits. And if we do hit triple digits for three days in a row, we call that a heat wave. And that looks very likely here as we're heading through the forecast. Yesterday was 101, Friday, today 102. So we've got two of those days checked off. We just need to check off a third. And I believe we will. In fact, I think tomorrow is actually going to be a little bit warmer than uh, we were today, but only by about a degree. 103, your high temperature in Bakersfield. 102 at Arvin, some 80s for the South Mountains, some 90s for the Kern River Valley, and temperatures in the triple digits over in eastern Kern. So the heat is still with us. Heat wave number one does look likely. It's not just the heat, though. It's that classic summer weather pattern where it's very warm, it's very stagnant, it's very sunny. There's not a lot of wind moving around, and because it's hot and there's no wind, we're looking at some air quality issues as well. We're yet to hit the unhealthy range, but per the Valley Air District, unhealthy for sensitive groups. So the air quality, not so great, but hey, at the very least, we've got a nice sunset here going on tonight. Let's take a look at your extended forecast. 103 tomorrow, 104 on Sunday. So we just continue to warm up from there with the extended heat in the forecast. We're going to continue to talk about these heat safety tips because uh, important to keep in mind. Find air conditioning whenever you can. Limit your time outside. Stay hydrated. Never, ever leave children or pets alone in hot cars. And check on people who are sensitive to the heat with this prolonged heat wave going on. Because again, if that verifies tomorrow, that'll be the beginning of a heat wave. But we don't stop there. We're looking at several more days of triple digit heat. So we're not done with this anytime soon. In fact, temperatures don't really seem to fall off until late next week. So we're going to be stuck with this heat for quite some time here in Kern County. Mountain communities looking a little bit better than we are here in the valley, but not by a ton. Those temperatures are still warm. 97, 99, 101 for the next three days at Lake Isabella to Hatchaby and Fraser Park. Jumping up about two degrees a day as well, up to about 91 degrees degrees on Monday as the temperatures are peaking, starting to cool off a bit as we head through the forecast here. But even as we head towards the end of the forecast, the end of next week, temperatures still around 90 degrees for Lake Isabella, and we're still right around 80 for Tehachapi and Fraser Park.